Hey, Rich's Two Money Maniacs. In this video, I want to talk about the incredible opportunities that are available to you right this second. Let's get right to it. Hey, Rich's Two Money Maniacs. Tom coming at you. Thanks so much for tuning in. In this video, I want to talk to you about the incredible opportunities that are being uh, that are being offered to anyone that has two cents to rub together and the brains to see what's happening in the world. Now, that's the one. Of, that's one of the reasons I love doing these videos. That's one of the reasons I'm so excited to be making this video for you guys right now. Look at what's happening in the world. Not just that everything's falling apart, right? Because remember something. When there's tragedy, when there's economic collapse, when there's everything falling apart, that's when there's the most need. And need can translate directly into demand. Demand means somebody with the smarts to put a business model together to supply that need or that demand will become extremely wealthy very quickly. Now, I realize that a lot of folks watch this channel because they want to learn more about money, currency, the economic uh, situations, how things work, how it all kind of plays together, and how to protect themselves. And it occurred to me that this would be a really great uh, way to share with you my insight that I've just had personally concerning where I want to put my focus. And I didn't say money and I didn't say time. I said focus because that's my most valuable asset my focus on businesses that will satisfy the needs that are out right now. The needs that the world are expressing every day to help people do whatever it is that they need to do. Get food, get clothes, pay their bills, find work, whatever, right? Maybe it's a good time to be a temp agency. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Here's a great idea though. Think about how many people are scared to death of catching the cerveza sickness, right? They're scared to death of getting any sickness, let alone HIV or cancer or pneumonia or malaria or anything else. All the other swine flu, the bird flu, all these other diseases that came along, right? They're all terrified of this one new <laughs> disease, all right? So what that means though, is you have the opportunity to look at every single industry in the world and reshape it in your mind to fit all these people who do not want direct human contact anymore. They don't want to dine in. They want to dine outside. They don't want to sit next to somebody who might be sniffling or cough on them in a theater. They don't want to walk into a store. They want it brought out to their car. So why, here's a great example, why is a store paying for all that floor space, shelf space? Why are they paying for that? All they need to be is a warehouse with robots that bring stuff to the front with a big drive through How about that for an idea? How about we reshape Start your own Costco or Sam's Club and call it something else. Call it Fred's, uh, you know, big and, big and large, right? Buy and large from Wally. <laughs> Name it buy and large from Wally. Grab that while you can. <laughs> and you basically just have a big warehouse with a couple people who actually run the robots that bring, the, the robots bring the products that people order on their app, on their phone, before they even arrive. And then they drive in through a driveway that takes them through this, this drive, this big long drive that comes up to, maybe instead of just one window, it's a whole big overhang with several stations and glass like a bank teller with a big huge door that opens, right? So that instead of going in and going through a register, they pay on their phone, right? And then drive up with their car, they get out of their car and the door opens and it's got everything they've ordered and they're looking at a person through the glass and saying, okay, yeah, this looks great, thank you very much. Wait, where's my, my, my jelly? Where's my grape jelly? Oh, one second. It's coming. 
Here you go, apologies, we're for, we forgot it. And they put everything in the car themselves, and then that door closes, they get in their car and they drive out. And they never enter the store, they're never around any other customers, but you can manage 20, 30 cars all at the same time because instead of paying for lots of registers, instead of paying for really nice looking you know, shelves and aisles for people to walk down and shop, you just basically have everything on an app and you send them stuff they're interested in. You advertise through the, through the app to them on things that are, that are on sale. They order it, they drive through and pick it up and never even enter the store. Think about that for a business model. Now look around you. Where else could you do that? Could you make a dentist drive through? Could you make a doctor's appointment drive through? Maybe. Maybe if you really thought about it, you could. And then maybe what else could you do? Well, banks already are drive throughs You know, McDonald's originally was not dine-in. It was dine outside or take it to go. You sat on a park bench. It was fast food. You didn't sit and eat and they serve you. No, they just gave you the bag and said, good luck, go find some place to eat. And guess what? People loved it. It was only later that they became dine-in and had tables. It'd be real easy to switch back to just drive through only. Coffee can be drive through only. What else can be drive through only? What else could be? You already uh, you hear people talking about going to drive ins in their car or going to see a band play on a big stage and everybody's parked in their car, basically tailgating at a concert. Tailgating at a, you know, a, so everything should be centered around the idea that you can keep everybody separate by keeping them in their vehicle. So, right? Now you're talking about a business model that you can put out in the middle of no in the middle of nowhere. Why? Because they're going to drive to it. They're not going to walk to it. They're going to drive to it, and they're going to drive through because it makes them feel safe. That's what people want. So that's why I was so excited to share this video with you. What are the ways that you could envision an industry or a business? shaping itself, reshaping itself, and morphing to be able to satisfy that need for people to feel safe in their little cocoons, right? So, The Richest You and everything we share is about helping you master your finances and come up with ideas and, and learn how to implement those ideas to help milk make you wealthy. Now, wealth is only part of it. You've got to have health. You've got to have love. You've got to make sure your health is good so you have lots of time. But the wealth sure makes it easy to satisfy all those other things. And of course, you need to have faith of some sort. Hopefully, it's a faith that is, <laughs> is believes in love and, you know, brotherly love and neighborly love and things like that and peace and abundance, right? So this video specifically is designed to help inspire you to look at the world right now and come up with some great ideas on how to satisfy the different demands and needs that are being expressed every day. Think about it. If you do have a temp agency, how many jobless people there are right now? How many unemployed people there are? You probably be inundated with people looking for work, then you can make money off of finding them work. Think about that for a second. There's so many ideas. Think about how many different businesses you could make into drive up type style businesses. And there's all kinds of commercial real estate becoming available now for dirt cheap to be able to do exactly that. Think about that for a second. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I sure did. I was so excited when I had this idea. I just had to make this video. Uh, if you liked it, please give a thumbs up. If you uh, didn't like it, please mention it in the comments below. Let me know what, uh, what you didn't like and maybe we could discuss how to improve it. Uh, but also don't forget if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks everybody for listening. I hope this was valuable and we'll see you next time.